Absolutely, and testing kits is a big part of what I, re I was hearing from lawmakers uh, from California, both uh, Republicans and Democrats, saying they need a lot more supplies to make sure they can prevent anything else from spreading. But you know what? This money is a good thing for many counties across the nation. They are starting to monitor many patients. They're starting to see more positive patients. And that means even from Maryland, just not far from where I am now in D.C. But for California, it's even magnified even more because obviously the state is monitoring about 8,400 patients, and there are several quarantine sites in the state. For California, the state would receive millions of dollars from medical supplies and money to community health centers. The bill signed by President Trump would also include millions of dollars to support response efforts for the state and local agencies, and there's also money for emergency evacuations. Now, I caught up with House Democrat Adam Schiff of Burbank, who says his constituents are worried about misinformation, especially after the president, based off some of his widespread information on personal beliefs. He contradicted the World Health Organization in an interview this week, saying they were wrong about how many patients have died, that it was less than that based on what the president was calling a hunch. And this is what Adam Schiff had to say. Well, once you uh, squander and lose your credibility, you can't get it back during a crisis. And this is the problem that the president has had with so many false statements uh, every day of his administration. So the public just doesn't have much trust in this president, and sadly for good reason. But there are a lot of other um, public health officials. Uh, there's a lot of concern in my district uh, about the virus, a lot of uh, misinformation in terms of uh, what to do. Uh, what I urge my constituents to do is go to my webpage or go to the CDC's webpage, go to other trusted sources for information. Uh, if you get sick, contact your physician first by telephone. The president indicated the criticism for his interview were a Democratic hoax and that the media is currently, quote, weaponizing the coronavirus against him. Now, the emergency bill is about triple the initial amount of money the White House requested. It also ensures billions of dollars to go towards efforts for vaccine development and treatments. Now, one Kentucky senator did vote against the bill, Rand Paul, saying he wanted to use the money from foreign aid accounts to offset the billions of dollars in spending rather then using mostly new money, which is what this bill is incorporating, but no other senator sided with him. So local officials are absolutely looking forward to this money and when very much looking forward to uh, using this for testing kits and other supplies. They just want to make sure that they have the resources put in place and be ready for anything. And especially in California, now that there has been one death because of the coronavirus, they want to prevent that from happening ever again. And, and over 9,000 people be being told to self-quarantine who may have been exposed to the virus and stay two weeks until they're tested. But then the problem is not enough testing kits. Nurses on the front lines, both in Washington state and here in California, saying they don't have enough of the masks they need that really pen don't allow the uh, pathogen to penetrate. And they also say they don't have the protective gear they need. So the question is, when that money finally filters out, will those you know um, supplies be available for right now, not for down the road when the virus could have spread even more? So keep us posted on all these new developments. And thank Absolutely. you so much.